streaks on the chalk. But sometimes things get turned around and no one spares. Good morning everyone, how are you doing? It's Paul here from Unusual Things. Now this morning we are in Brookwood Cemetery and we have come to find the final resting place of Christopher Hewitt. Now he was an actor and he was in such things as Murder, She Wrote, Heart to Heart. I'll tell you a little bit more about him real soon. Um, don't forget if you like the video today, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything at all, apart from a little bit of time of pressing subscribe. And that's all it costs you. Nothing else, you have to pay for it. Um, and of course, leave your comments down below. If you remember Christopher as an actor, then I like to read your comments. If you don't know who he is and you learn something from today's video, then uh, also, you know, I like, just like to see what people have to say about the visits and whatever. And it's always good to expand a little bit, you know. I, I know I've been to see some really big names, which has been fantastic, but it's good to find these other people that, you know, were actors or actresses or singers or whatever, uh, and they went abroad and they done quite well for themselves, and then obviously they've come back here and been cremated or buried or whatever the case may be. Um, so it's not always about the big names, I don't think. I think it's good to have a variety of people in there but you know they've obviously made a success of their life in one way or another so I will tell you a little bit more about Christopher and uh, we'll find his uh, final resting place. Christopher George Hewitt 5th of April 1921 to the 3rd of August 2001 was an English actor and theatre director best known for his role as Lynn Belvedere on the ABC sitcom Mr Belvedere. Hewitt was born in Worthing, Sussex, to Christopher Fitzsimmon Hewitt, an army officer and a descendant of Daniel O'Connell, and his wife Elena Joyce Swatts, an actress whose professional name was Rhonda Clayton. He was educated at Beaumont College and at Wimbledon College, and at the age of seven made his acting debut in a Dublin stage production of A Midsummer Night's Dream. At age 16, he joined the Royal Air Force, leaving in 1940. He then joined the Oxford Repertory Company and made his West End theatre debut in 1943. He later appeared on Broadway in the musicals My Fair Lady, First Impressions, The Unsinkable Molly Brown, Music Is and Keen, and in the plays Sleuth and The Affair, among others. And directed the 1960 Broadway Remu from A to Z and the 1967 off-Broadway revival of the Rogers and Hart musical by Jupiter. Hewitt also directed several stage productions including The Marriage Go Round and Beyond the Fringe and Camelot. He made his film debut in the crime drama Pool of London 1951 and later appeared in roles on Robert Montgomery Presents and DuBont Show of the Month. He appeared as the grandiose and camp theatre director Roger Debray in Mal Brooks' comedy The Producers 1967. In 1976, Hewitt played the generic bureaucrat Fedorov in the short-lived sitcom Ivan the Terrible. During the 1979-1980 season, he played Captain Hook to Sandy Duncan's Peter Pan on Broadway. From 1983 to 1984, he portrayed Lawrence, Mr. Rourke's sidekick on the final season of the ABC series Fantasy Island. The following year, Hewitt landed his best-known role as Lynn Belvedere, an English butler who works for a middle-class American family, in the sitcom Mr. Belvedere. After the series ended its run in 1990, he appeared in a guest spot on an episode of the NBC teen sitcom California Dreams in 1994. His last on-screen role was a cameo appearance on the Fox series Ned and Stacy in 1997. Other television shows and films that he has taken part in have been The Elephant Man, 1982, Heart to Heart, Jeremy Lane, 
Fantasy Island, Mr Belvedere and many more. A devout Catholic and lifelong bachelor, Hewitt served at St Victor's Church in West Hollywood. During his later years, he suffered from arthritis and diabetes. He died on the 3rd of August 2001 in his Los Angeles home from complications of diabetes. So there's all the information on Christopher George Hewitt. Um, you know, starred in some amazing shows really, when you look back at that time, Murder, She Wrote, Heart to Heart, and so many other bits and pieces. I can hear a car. Um, you know, and from what I'm led to believe is that they've got a family plot here where ashes are interred. But I've been having a good look around and I think I found it. I'll tell you what though, I did have to. Let me just show you this. See those trees over there? It's hidden in amongst that lot. I had to do some searching for this one, I really did. Okay, so I'll show you and I'll give you the approach that I had, but I've cleaned it all off, it was filthy, okay? So this is where I was looking for Christopher's um, final resting place where his ashes are interred. Now, bear in mind, you could walk straight past this and it was only because I saw this little, like, boy statue, or I think that's what it is, that I, I nosed in here and I saw Christopher Fitzsimmon Hewitt and obviously the name Hewitt rung about. So then I had a look around and I started clearing all of these off and I finally found Christopher George Hewitt, the gentleman we're after. There's obviously other family members there as well, which is it's lovely to see. And you, you know, you've got this little plot here. Um, and obviously they've got their family in there, which is great. I feel a little bit like um, David Attenborough in the bushes here. <laughs> this is a new one, folks, isn't it? <laughs> Paying our respects today to Christopher George Hewitt. Um, you know, he went to the States, he done his thing, and he come back, bless you. Thank you so much um, for your contribution towards entertainment. And uh, yeah, there we have it. What a um, unusual place to have your ashes in terms. Just like a little, it's like their own little family plot. And I love that because it's just, unless you knew, that's just completely out of the way, isn't it? Um, and what's great about Brookwood is that they have signs saying, like this one here, notable grave, look. <clears throat> um, Carol Gibbons. And then, and then of course, there's uh, born in Massachusetts. You know, we, you know, I'm not looking into that one today, but there's a QR code on there. So you can go and read the history on the people on notable graves. And this place, like I say, it's the first time I've been here. Um, it's full of them. It really is. It's so many notable graves around that you could just spend weeks in here looking at them all. Anyway, thank you for joining me today on a beautiful sunny day in this beautiful, peaceful place. Isn't it peaceful? It's lovely. Uh, don't forget to leave your comments down below. If you haven't done so already, give me one of them, please, if you don't mind, if you like the video today. And uh, subscribe to the channel. It costs you nothing but a second of your time. And uh, don't forget, if you want to buy one of these t-shirts, they're really cool, great fit, great fit when you've lost weight, um, go, on to the, <laughs> go on to the YouTube channel and there's a store button along from videos and all that sort of stuff, click that and you can see all the different bits of merch that we've got on there, the unusual things merch, um, and I will see you all, thank you for watching, I will see you all on the next one, Take, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, look at this, I've just got to show you this, look, wow, look at that. Could you imagine if you were walking along in here at night time and you just saw that next to a cross? You'd think it's someone in here, wouldn't you? It'd be bonkers, wouldn't it? You'd, just, you'd be questioning yourself. Am I seeing things? Is that a statue? Anyway, on that note, I'll leave that. Um, it's just looked at me. Uh, and I'll see you all on the next one. Take it easy. Ta -da.